Hello everyone, this is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com and today I'm going to be showing all of you a couple of easy, quick tricks that you can use to get back space on both your iPhone and your iCloud account. Now let's start with the phone. I find that a lot of times after a few years, clients of mine start to run out of space on their phone and immediately most people think, oh, I've got too many photos, I have too much music, but they forget about some of the other things that take up space. So for example, when you plug your phone into your computer and it launches in iTunes, you've seen probably that little bar that appears at the bottom and it shows how much music you have, how many movies, but it also has this weird yellow bar that says other data and very few people know what other data actually refers to. Technically it refers to quite a few items, but of all of those items, only two take up a significant amount of space. The first is one that most of us never even think to delete, which is your old text messages and iMessages. Most people, when they receive a text message, they never actually delete it. They just answer the person and then hit the home button and carry on wherever they left off. The other item is voicemails. Now, the voicemails on your phone work sort of like the way that your email works, whereas when you delete it, it's not really gone until you empty the trash. So not only do you have to go into the phone app, forgive me, I'm going to have to blur out part of the screen here, but you see there at the bottom it says deleted messages. Well, those are all still on the phone. So you have to go to the very top and click where it says clear all to truly delete them. Now, the other thing that can take up a lot of space on your phone is if you are one day plugged in and you're syncing data, let's say photos or movies or uh, music, and something happens to the connection. Maybe you accidentally bump your phone and the plug comes out. That can cause corrupted data to appear on your phone. So if you do all of this and you really don't feel like you have a lot of stuff, but it still appears that you do as far as when it shows you the bar, what you may want to try is plug your phone into iTunes and unsync the items that you have synced. So unsync your music and unsync your photos. Once it's applied that, and those changes now are reflected on your phone, again, resync them and make sure obviously it doesn't disconnect during the process. Next, I want to show you a trick for how to get back space on the iCloud. Now, forgive me, I've already done this on mine. I'm very conscious of it, but I want to show you all how to do it. What you need to do is go into settings and sorry, I'm already there. From settings, go into iCloud. From there, scroll to the bottom go into storage and backup and finally go into where it says manage storage which is the third item down. Now for many of you at the very top of this list you are going to see old backup files. What I have found a lot of people accidentally do is they have their old devices still with their backup files on the cloud which takes up a lot of space. So if you look at this and you see an iPhone that you got rid of a year ago you can delete those files. You can delete the backup files. They're not important anymore. All you need to have is the backup data for your current phone. And that's, of course, if you choose not to back it up to your computer. So simply by going through that and going through these other items here, you can see here, I clearly do not have a lot. Uh, you can really get back a lot of space. Very, very few people actually need to upgrade to a larger storage plan for iCloud. Um, if you have questions about iCloud, I very strongly recommend you check out our other class that we did called iCloud Explained. Number one misconception about iCloud is that your photos count against it. They do not. Also, it should be noted, iCloud does not back up your photos. It's more like a holding station. It gives you 30 days so that you can go to your computer, and if you're on a Mac, open iPhoto. If you're on a PC, just use your PC so that they can download there, but it does not back them up. So I hope you'll check those out. If you've never heard of our service before, PCClassesOnline.com is a completely free service. There's no hidden fees of any kind. You can find out more, of course, on our website at PCClassesOnline.com. This is David A. Cox. If you enjoyed this video and happen to be watching us on YouTube, we really do appreciate it. If you click that little like button, we actually get paid to do these videos through Google. So thank you for that and have a good one. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.